All right, <clears throat> all right, you know what? I, I'm just ranting for a minute. <laughs> I'm not gonna call this a rant video, but it's just, I, this is basically what I'm doing here. So uh, last night, I like halfway sleep hate watched uh, Sex Life, that Netflix show. And this, this channel's not monetized. I can say whatever the fuck I want right now and throughout this video, so whatever, it's not a big deal. But like, I, I hated it and I was also half asleep while going through it, so if I missed any details, feel free to correct me. I'm not gonna care, but feel free to correct me. And I just, I, just, I, I despise that show because it's basically about this married woman who has two children and a nice loving husband who is just horny and so she starts cheating on her husband with one of her old boyfriends and then the show goes out of its way to make it look like oh okay her husband's actually bad now too so it's actually okay that she's cheating on her husband and is is just dumb <clears throat> it is very dumb and it's um in the in the same vein as a lot of other like borderline pornographic things that have been coming out lately that are aimed at women like 365 Days or the Fifty Shades of Grey series is really what kicked all this off. Or uh, After is kind of a more PG-13 version of a similar idea. <laughs> but it's like always this thing where like the main character is a woman who uh, in some cases is a virgin and in some cases she just has a current boyfriend or husband who she's not super satisfied with sexually and sometimes both. And then this new guy comes in and just like sweeps her off her feet and there, there's usually some BDSM in there, but not always. <laughs> and he's just amazing sexually, and then everything else is super toxic outside of that, let's be honest. But that's not what I'm complaining about. I'm complaining about specifically the sex thing in all of these, because, like, in order for her, the main character, to be sexually satisfied, she has to have this new guy come in and put in all this effort, like, not just uh, during the courtship period, where in some cases he just straight up kidnaps her, but uh, like he comes in and gives her all this attention and all this love and everything. Uh, but then during the sex, like he's the one that takes the leading role. He's the one that uh, takes the dominant role. He's the one that initiates and does things the vast majority of the time. He's he's putting in all this effort, right? And that's what she needs. And yeah, he also needs to be super kinky usually, or super kinky by the standards of Midwestern housewives, but you know, that's a, that's, a, that's a, another thing. But anyways, he, he needs to put in all this effort and for her to sexually satisfy him, she just has to exist. You know, just like exist and be available and this dude will fawn over you. And you know what, that, that just annoys me because like, especially in sex life, because it's like, okay, you're unsatisfied. Talk to your husband, you stupid bitch. Like, have a conversation. You know, you don't need to sneak around on him and put your marriage at risk and uh, affect your kids' lives as well, like, you, you just have a conversation. But it also annoys me because these things are, you know, super popular, and that kind of mindset is also in a lot of women in the real world. Uh, not just in my personal experience, but in other men's experience too. And keep in mind I'm talking about, like, heterosexual relationships here. Uh, the dynamics for gay people is probably quite a bit different. But, uh, and... I'm just gonna say it, women, a lot of you are bad at sex. Yeah, I'm, fu I'm fucking saying it. Now, obviously, a lot of heterosexual men aren't great either, okay? Like, they, they're also not communicative, and uh, they can just not be concerned with uh, your partner's pleasure and all that. Uh, in fact, the orgasm gap is a real thing, which, like, psychological studies have been done on, and it's also just a very funny phrase that I'm gonna say at every opportunity. Orgasm gap. And the reason that's a thing, and basically if you're unfamiliar, it's just like men climax during sex more often, women are more likely to be unsatisfied. And the reason for that is just that it's easier for men to finish though. Like, it's not that you're so amazing at it. Like, I, I get the feeling that in their minds, they're riding that dick like Sasha Gray, but in reality, they're kind of just laying there and occasionally moaning. And those are the types of girls that will go out and say, yeah, I'm a demon in bed. I'm crazy. Like, no, you're not. Fuck you. You're, you're not. But because it's so much easier for men to finish, they don't seem to get that they can be bad at it too. Like, it's like that Jim Jeffries joke where he's like, you don't make me come, I make me come. You're just the container I shoot it into. Like, you, you know, that's obviously a joke. It's exaggerated and a bit more vulgar than it needs to be for the sake of comedy, but it's, it, it's coming from a real place. <laughs> coming. 
And obviously, these things like Fifty Shades and Sex Life and all that, uh, <clears throat> they get popular in this demographic because, you know, women are just unsatisfied with their sex lives, but I, j I just want to emphasize, you're, you're not that great at it, okay? Like, if your idea of having an amazing sex life is that you just have to exist and make yourself available, and then this dude comes in and does all this for you, then, well, that's... come on. <laughs> that's just not fair. And obviously, yes, men have, uh, not the same fantasy, but, like, similar ones, and you know, being lazy or selfish or something is not great, it's not fair to your partner, or communicate and all that, but it just really fucking annoys me <clears throat> when this is being done over and over again. Like, that that's what annoys me about all these uh, things that are coming out, and I mean, we're gonna have more 365 days, and then after that it'll be something else that is in the same exact genre. And it's gonna be the same, it's gonna be a main character who just doesn't do anything at all sexually uh, except make herself available and then she has an amazing sex life because of it. It's like, d d fuck you, okay? Like, if I had to summarize this whole thing uh, in one sentence, I would say that men are selfish and women are lazy. And uh, just again, for the sake of fairness, I will say that people who consider themselves submissive or like bottoms or whatever across all genders and sexualities, I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of you are not bottoms, you're just lazy and demanding. And the reason I'm making this rant is partially because that show is just so fucking terrible that it, it, it just annoys me and I wanted to complain about it for a few minutes. But also just like, I've seen plenty of stuff online where people call out men for being, you know, selfish lovers or just uh, not communicating and being bad at just, well, just being bad at sex, you know? But I rarely see people call out uh, hetero women on that and people are more reluctant to do it, I think, because, well, again, it's just easier for men to climax, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're satisfied or happy with what's going on. So, you know, just talk, talk to each other, please. And uh, I want to put say it again. I'll, I'll, I know it was just like 30 seconds ago that I said it, but I'll say it again. A lot of you aren't bottoms, you're just fucking lazy. And that's, uh, that, that's all. Uh, goodbye. Have a lovely day.